Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, we finished our wall in the last episode. Trinity is happy. Trinity is back, ready to play. She's very happy that she can move around in the base without being shot from outside. That's what the outer wall really, really helps you with. She can, you know, we can farm, we can do things outside. Like you can work on the farm without worrying about being shot. You can leave your doors open. You know, you can move freely in your base and do things in your base because you've only got one door to worry about. So, like I said in the last episode, the outer wall is very, very important. Now, the next thing, because the main focus, and I spoke to Trinity about this. Now, this isn't very important to me, but this is important to probably 90% of the player base. Loot is very important, especially keeping loot. Because if you don't, if you can't keep your loot, then every time you lose everything, you have to start over which is very difficult for a lot of players in Scum. I actually love running around my oranges, but it's not for everyone, okay? And it's not fun running around your oranges, but I just love, you know, having nothing and then the exploration and the looting and I, I'm just I'm just a bit different when it comes to loot. But again, I like to have loot on me. And if I die, I'd like to have another gun, especially on a full server. So depending on the server population, depending on the kind of server it is, depending on the kind of players that's on the server. If it's a very action-packed server like Survival Evolved, you want an AR on you most of the time because it's going to be very difficult for you to defend yourself with a pistol or a bow when you're being attacked with by players that have got M82s and grenade launchers and grenades and AKs and SVDs, okay? Um, it's going to be very, very difficult to survive in those situations. So defending the base or making sure, you know, the loot is secure in the base is important. Now, we've got the walls, but we've got a bunch of doors in the base as well. And even this, even, the, even just looking at this one wall. Now, there's other ways to get into the base. So you've got two things that you need to focus on. First of all, you don't have good locks on you. So any average lock picker... Even me, that's very average with lockpicky, can get through this door in a second. Um, luckily, raiding is not active yet because of bro the broken base building things that the developers still have to fix. But I mean, if raiding started when raiding should have started, then we can get raided by anyone and we would have easily lost our gear. Although if raiding was active, we would have buried most of our gear because we understand that there's no ways for us to protect the gear. They can't take our base from us. And we can literally leave every door open for them, you know, or just leave dumb locks on the door so that if somebody wants to come in here, they can come in here. And we can, every time we log out, we can bury the things that we don't want to loot. But when it comes to defending your base, you need good locks, like die locks, gold locks, and BCU locks. And then the second thing you want is more HP on this thing called the wall. Because uh, people with grenades can blow this wall away. Okay, because 100 HP is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, to give you an example, TNT. One TNT does 200 damage. A person can go loot the, the coal mine now and find a TNT and blow through the wall. Someone can loot the, the coal mine three different times through the day maybe get three TNTs in a day, blow through this wall, blow through that wall and get into our, you know, clearly go into our room with no, with no obstacles. And if he's a good lock picker, he's going to go through this base like nothing. So I asked Trinity, like, as from a new player's perspective, what does she feel is more important? Because she doesn't like losing her loot. She is the, the normal person that likes gathering loot and having backup loot and just having more than she needs for, you know, the rough times, when it, whenever something rough happens. So we have to upgrade the base, which is going to take resources. And the easiest way to upgrade the base past metal is to have money, because you only need wood to upgrade the base until level three, and then you need scrap metal. Scrap metal doesn't take money to gather. We can gather scrap metal. But then to really defend your base, you need to upgrade the walls to brick or concrete so you have to go fetch gravel or concrete but because of the traders everyone just buys concrete and um, gravel which is extremely cheap 
like unbelievably cheap at the traders, okay? So the default for scum players at the moment is to upgrade their walls completely or their base completely. They buy the gravel and they buy the cement. Um, I've made it more expensive on my PvP server Survival Evolved just to encourage people to actually try and loot, you know, actually go get the cement and the gravel so that they can fight with each other on a PvP server. Um, but I mean, when you raise the prices of cement and gravel, people can even sell it. So they can either go and get the gravel and the cement on my PvP server Survival Evolved to upgrade their base, or they can just go gather it, put it in their truck, and go sell it at the trader. It's giving them two good options. So there's two reasons on my PvP server to go to the cement factory and the gravel factory, if you don't know this. And you can make money, and you can upgrade your base. Okay, so changing things like that on a server um, opens up quite a lot of doors. But I'm just giving you guys the default experience on LDR, which is based on official settings. We're going to buy everything. So the two things that we need to focus on is money for the resources, okay, to upgrade the base. Second thing is locks. So what we're going to focus on first is locks. So the fastest way to get locks is in an abandoned bunker. There's depositories in abandoned bunkers where you need to unlock doors with a keypad. That's not very difficult to figure out, but you... You have to deal with razors and puppets and Brenner and stuff like that. And apparently these days drop ships as well. Okay, so it's not very um, noob friendly. And you can even go to the D4 airfield. There's a lot of locks there as well. Um, there's a few places where you can find locks quite easily. If you just loot cars, literally if you just loot cars, you're going to find locks. But what me and Trinity is going to do today is kill two birds with one stone. And that is by going to the hospital, collecting medical gear that we can hoard, because you always want good medical gear on you. We're going to collect locks and lock picks. And then we will be able to sell a lot of the medical gear as well. But we're not going to sell all the medical gear. We're just going to sell the medical gear that's worth a lot of money, which I described to you guys last time. Antibiotics, charcoal, and painkillers. Access of it. We're not going to sell all the painkillers. We're going to sell, if we're first going to sell charcoal and antibiotics, and then if we don't have, you know, if we've got more than enough painkillers, we'll start selling painkillers as well. So hospital is our first target, and then we'll move on from there, maybe to the scrapyard, because you can get quite a few locks at the scrapyard as well. So see you guys there. Now there's two kinds of buildings at the hospital the first kind of building is a building that's not medical medically focused so if you walk into the building like this and you see medical equipment this is a medical medically focused building where you're going to get the stuff that you can sell activated charcoal okay you're going to search everything here um and yeah it's just it's just medically focused and then you're going to find the other building which I'm going to show you now. But here, you're just searching for medical equipment, potassium, not an item we can sell, but we can use potassium for when we go into the um, radiation zone, which we are definitely going to do. And so I'll show you guys the next area. Now, this is the second kind of building that you get. And when you walk into it, again, we're talking about the hospital area in B0. The second building, when you enter it, there's clearly not medical equipment. It's more office related. And these offices is where you're going to find locks and lock picks. Okay, we are looking for locks. So we want to actually focus more on these buildings because of what we're looking for. But we're not going to ignore the medical buildings because that's where we're going to make our money. We're killing two birds with one stone. Now, yes, an iron lock is nothing to write home about, but at least it's better than nothing. And we can get some cooking books here. And uh, update just came out for scum, so we'll be able to cook again. So I am going to collect the cooking books because we can actually cook again. So Trinity, mental note, collect cooking books, okay? And yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll let you know what we have gathered once we are done. And we're going to be looting 
every single building at the hospital. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we weren't very lucky, although this car just, this car was very, very lucky. It just found, right in this car, yeah, just found in the force lock. And the other, only other lock I found in this entire hospital was an iron lock. So the gold lock is very, very, very important. So apparently you guys can search cars as well. It's just like the, you know, the rate at which you can find it in cars is very, very low. But I mean, this is what we found. Um, quite a lot of medical gear. Um, Trinity is collecting the padlocks because with, you know, with a certain amount of padlocks, you can craft the gold lock. So we can definitely craft the gold lock as well. So we're getting there, but I must say not very impressed with what we have found. But like there. Um, oh, I, I only need 15 padlocks. because Probably because I've got advanced engineering or something like that. I'm not sure. But I only need 15 padlocks with my skill. Um, to make an advanced lock pick, okay? Although I don't really like collecting padlocks. I'm letting Trinity collect whatever she wants to collect. But, like I say, this is what we found. A lot activated charcoal painkillers. I, I only picked up two potassiums because you don't need excess potassium and potassium doesn't sell for a heck of a lot. So, yeah. Um, painkillers... Advanced lockpicks, Trinity got advanced lockpicks as well, which is very, very nice. A um, lot of painkillers. And we found all the cooking books, which doesn't always happen when you visit the hospital. But we found all the cooking books. There's nine different cooking books in the game. The hot fix, hopefully. Um, they said they fixed the, the metabolism calculations. So hopefully we can cook food again, and we found all nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which is the barbecue cooking book, the drinks, soup, stew, casserole, rice, pasta, cake, and pizza. Those are all the cooking books in the game, which is very, very nice. Like I said, medical equipment, medical equipment, and then Trinity just come here to the bush. She can quickly hold her hands up and just show you guys what she found. Now I can quickly search her. Okay, as you guys can see, also a lot of medical equipment. Apparently these, these two things are overlap. Oh, that's just me, but yeah. Nails, she's got two waste bags that she's carrying, a lot of clothing. Don't worry, I'll talk to her after I stop recording. And um, yeah, she's got... Okay, all of this is what she brought um, to the hospital, and this is basically what she found. Like I say, not very impressed with the locks that we found, but we can go to the scrapyard and find more locks. I'm just not in the mood now, or I won't say in the mood, I'm just not willing to risk the loot that we have to maybe get killed by the, uh, by, uh, at the scrapyard. And I mean, we've got the dirt bike, so we can quickly go home and then just go back to the scrapyard. Um, it's quite a lot of money that we have, quite a lot of medical equipment. So rather be, it's better to be safe. Yeah? Rather safe than sorry. If you run fast, if you, if you jog, you got less chance. I'm eating a corn to take a corn to Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Okay, wait. Run to me, run to me. Oh my word. Oh! That's it. Ow! Ow! Now you killed me! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! <laughs> okay, whatever we did there, we can't do that again. Um, like I said, I don't usually collect padlocks, but Trinity needs 18 padlocks to make an enforced lock. I need 15, and I'm not at advanced engineering yet. I'm at, just go to my character, I'm at halfway, I'm 46% towards advanced engineering. But you can see my farming is almost at medium. Now, you have to pick someone... I'm picking me for most of the skills because 
just because I want to see if I can create, you know, the perfect character on here. But it doesn't matter who you choose, but you want one character to be leveling up the skills. Because if you if you try to get two people to advance engineering, it's going to take twice as long for either of us to get to advance, to reap the rewards of advance. Same as farming. It's not good to have two people um, to try and get to advanced farming, you know, rather get one guy to advanced farming to reap the rewards. Same with all the other things, you know, like um, don't don't let both, I mean, uh, I feel everyone must take advanced thievery, but again, if you don't want to level up demolition, let one guy, you know, let one guy um, level up demolition. But there are other skills like stealth where you want everyone to have advanced stealth. So, of course, if we're going to crawl into a corner, what do you mean crawl into a corner, Luthias? If you crouch down here and you crawl into this corner, like this, into the stairs and into the foundation, like that, okay, you're going to be leveling up stealth, as you guys can see there. We're leveling up stealth, and we're leveling up camouflage by just crawling into this corner, okay? But, I mean, the whole team must do that because stealth and camouflage helps the whole team. I'm just saying for skills that, that not the entire team needs, like the entire team needs basic engineering so that they can repair their armor if they want. The entire ne team needs medical because you don't want to run across the battlefield trying to save a teammate when all of them could just have could have just had advanced medical to save themselves, okay? So focus on those things. And then um, just think about that. Rather than splitting up the responsibilities, let one person focus on it. Okay, hope that helps you guys. It's the next day. So what we are going to do now is we collected everything out of the loot dump. You guys saw that we went to the castles, collected the medical, the medieval swords. You guys saw us going to the hospital where we collected the medic uh, the medical gear. I swapped out the block for the serpent. It is one of the strongest revolvers in the game. I like to put a nice sight on there. But we are at the max base um, elements at the moment. So we'd like to get a base expansion at some point or buy a base expansion. But for now, money and locks are a priority and that's what we're going to focus on. So, we're just going to go to the trader. I've got 2,300 bucks. Trinity, how much money have you got? 1,100. Okay, so we've got about 3,500 3, between us, guys. Let's see what we end up with when we sell what we got at the castle and at the hospital. Here we are, and just for fully repaired medieval swords, you get one four for each sword. Okay, so just for the swords, That's just crazy. for the swords, that is 11,000 bucks. That's just the swords. We'll see what Trinity ends up with now now. And then when I go to the medical Never guy, about the expiration date. Those are I've kept days. all the... the, the the ones that we're going to need, all the painkillers, the potassium, and the painkillers that this, we're going to need. This is just access. So for just, and we didn't really get a lot, but just for the access um, medical tablets that I'm selling, I'm basically just selling the tablets. I can, I can keep one for myself. I can keep one antibiotic and one painkiller um, for myself. Okay, so just for that, You'll need these soon or we went from two and a half to twenty. Remember to keep hydrated. I'm sure I'll see you again. So when I look at Trinity's, when I look at what I gave Trinity, she's got lights, like small lights of the Rager and bikes that she can sell at the mechanic. Um, I suspect she will end up with. She had one off. She'll end up with minimum, minimum five. At, you know, at the, the lowest possible, she'll end up with five thousand, which means we just increased our overall clan bank balance from um, four thousand to twenty-five thousand. 
Now, what we're going to do in the next um, part of this guide is we are going to go and loot the D4 airfield. Okay. I know it's not noob friendly, but I'm going to take Trinity with me, guide you guys um, through it. And then in the next video, you guys can just tell me you know, whether you would um, do it after I've shown you how to do it or if you think it's too um, risky for you. Okay, so the next episode, uh, I'm going to just be covering the D4 airfield slowly with you guys because it is a daunting place for most players. And but it's de it's definitely something that you can't keep out of your loot roots, and of course because it's daunting, there aren't a lot of people that go there. And the positive thing about going there is when you leave, you've got Samabor City very close to you. So even if you are very unlucky with what you get here, you've always got the city as a backup. If you quickly go check the two Chinese shops. Uh, for the Dawa swords, but we'll cover the big city in another episode. If you guys enjoyed the enjoyed the video and learned something new, do me a favor and click that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, uh, click the subscribe button. And then next to the subscribe button is, is a bell button. Click the bell, click all to be notified of future videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.